little smaller lot, 40 foot wide lot. Go around in a circle. Okay, let's walk in. It's got that pretty uh, stone on the front. Queen palm in the front. Uh, also needs pressure washing. I don't know if you can see the uh, eaves. But you might be able to just do that yourself. Of course, it, it is a two-story with it up there, too. But anyway, here's the entranceway. A um, few little fingerprints. Tile, ceramic tile on the floor. Dining room as you first come in. Nice fixture. It's a little upgraded from the last place. There's a window there. Carpet looks good. Staircase. Kitchen to the right. This is the house with the granite countertops. Um, kitchen nook here. And that door looks like it goes to the garage. The, and right around here is washer and dryer. Tile in here also. Since we're here, let's just go into the garage. Okay, good size. Garage, garage door opener, pull down stairs. It's not the biggest garage, but it's not the smallest one we've seen either. Black appliances. Granite's nice. That's probably a $6,000 investment right there. Cupboards are nice. Maple, 42 inch. Black appliances. Uh, pantry. Door. Family room is a good size. It's got a fenced in rear. Um, big eight foot door going to the back. Fireplace looks like it could be gas. That's always nice. You wouldn't think you need it down here, but I use my gas fireplace. I love it. Takes the chill off in that room. You don't have to run the heat so high. Um, little niche here in the foyer. There's a full bath here. One sink. Bath, shower, lights, cabinet, medicine cabinet. To your right is a bedroom. And I believe this is the only bedroom downstairs. Big uh, walk in closet. Carpeting's good in here, too. Um, I don't know if you notice the doors, but they're the panel doors. I, probably this uh, the hardware is updated too. Okay, we're going to go up the stairs. The, the first uh, landing is wood and then carpet all the way up. Nice window at the top, arched. And then we turn and go up again. Uh, your air conditioning unit here with closet doors. Um, I'm going to my right, and, ooh, this is a good size bedroom. Faces the front of the house. Has a uh, step-in closet, yep. Right next to it is another bedroom. Smaller, quite a bit smaller. Uh, this window faces the front, this is the side of the neck, faces the house next door. Full bath, nice big bath with uh, two sinks, molded shower enclosure with tub, toilet ceramic tile, and a nice big linen closet. And to my right, next door to that, is the master bedroom step ceilings window window big window faces the front oh no I'm sorry it's the back back and you can see your neighbors 
they are kind of close but your yard is fully fenced in with a nice palm tree there by the way and then your master bath um, cleaning closet to the right to the left walk-in closet and straight ahead sink to your right nice maple cupboards like in the uh, kitchen garden tub this is nice because it's got a ceramic backsplash and in the front of the garden tub it's ceramic as well as the floor another sink area nice big shower nice big shower nice tile And then right next to it is your commode. Back into the master. And that is it. You're back out into your stairway. As you can see, I'm standing at the landing looking down. There's your window. Okay, now we're going to go over to the wood stork home. Um, I've already been there. Um, I really don't know if you'd be interested in that one that you had on your list. Um, I know I wouldn't be. Uh, there is another one on that street. Um, I think it's pre-foreclosure or short sale. I'm going to show you that one too because of it needs painting work though desperately. But it's got tall tall ceilings 11 12 foot ceilings in it um, a nice floor plan so I'm going to show you that anyway and then one more I think on Swallowtail I think I'll take you to that one it is contingent but you never know all right uh, on to um, Woodstork <laughs> 